surviving in this post-apocalyptic landscape following a nuclear war. And I want to send you a warning. And I remember back before the nuclear war, I used to review fountain pens. So today I want to talk about the Schrade tactical fountain pen. I was able to hold on to my house after the war, after the bombing ended. I had a stock of food, and I even harvested food from neighboring homes. But raiders came, attacked my home, and all I was able to escape with was the food on my back and my Schrade tactical fountain pen. Not much remains of the world now. Survive, picking on the corpses of the world, getting my ink from for my fountain pen from the corpses. Uh, most of the canned food is gone. And I can feel the poison of the radiation growing within my body. And there's no doctors around anymore. I used to be a teacher. There's no schools around anymore. There's no children to educate. Uh, most of the children are too mutated or they're desperate to survive or they become a food source. They used to say you could survive a nuclear war. I guess I survived. But most of the time I wish I didn't. There is food to eat, if you dare. Uh, when I see a deer with tumors and two heads, somehow can't quite do it. Any canned goods are horribly out of date. Dried food, iffy at best. There's just not much left. Not much that's green and alive, except a few badly mutated trees. The electromagnetic burst after the bombs went off fried all electronics. Don't question how I'm recording this and sending it into the past. Just trust me and go with it. All right, so this is the Schrade Tactical Fountain Pen. It is ribbed for strength. It has a pointy end which you can pound into people's eye sockets. The clip is riveted in place. It unscrews and then can be posted by screwing in place. The nib is Iridium Point, Germany. It's a very generic with a plastic feed. And it is a cartridge converter filler. There is no longer ink being made, so I use the juices from the many, many corpses that litter the landscape. I will just mention when you're using corpse ooze, pen hygiene becomes especially important because it will mold. It never was a flex pen, and I don't have time for flexing now that life is about survival. Wetness and flow. Lots of corpse ooze coming out. Smear test. You can see some feathering on this po post apocalyptic paper. Yeah, it's still wet, pen, but. I'm not going to lick my finger after doing that. No, not after I know what's on it. A reverse writing. Nobody has time to reverse write anymore. It's all survival, but it's like a scratchy extra fine. And the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. Although Boston was hit by several of the bombs. So who knows if he has survived. But his test has survived into this nuclear winter. I remember when I used to have time to write. 
when I wasn't fighting off cannibal gangs and raiders after my food. So we'll write a small quote. The world seems very far away now, almost like a dream. This nuclear war started when we elected a new president on November 5th of all days, 2024. This new president, clearly a problem, very weak. And other countries thought they could take advantage of our weak leadership. Who knows really what kicked it off. But it all could have been avoided in 2024. So my message to you is, to all of you in 2024, don't vote for 